I have a retelling of a classic children's fairy tale for you. I hope you enjoy it. It's called Goldie and the Three Chairs. Her father was always kicking her out for being obsessed with the furniture. Feng Shui was her thing. She watched all the shows. She wanted to go to school for design. She walked through the woods, angry at her dad. But then she saw a cabin in the trees. She peeked in the door and saw no one was home and furniture that needs to be arranged. Who would it hurt if I practiced a bit? She thought to herself as she stepped inside. They look like they could use a little help. They'll all be so happy when they get home. First the kitchen. The pantry was a mess. Bowls, spoons, and porridge not where they should be. While she was at it, she made some to eat. Keep stirring, a pinch of salt. Mmm, just right. Next the living room, where she saw three chairs. Those and everything were in the wrong place. But her design instincts were firing, and she knew exactly what she must do. She put the cactus in the corner with the bird vase in front for a, a layered southwest feel. Then she took a big book from the shelf and put it on the floor with a lamp next to that and called it Librarian Chic. She found some old dusty bottles and gave them a rinse and put them in a window where they picked up the light. Nouveau antique. Then she began to move the chairs around, struggling with what to do. Timeless or aspirational? Clean or reimagine? Practical yet moody? Tailored yet whimsical? Then it occurred to her. So simple, it was avant-garde. She placed them all in a simple row, spaced perfectly, just right. Colors according to the spectrum, making perfect sense, yet begging a question. Not mere furniture at all, not just interior design, but art. And she felt like an artist. She discovered something new about herself. She knew now what she would do with her life. Feeling spent and content, forgetting this wasn't her house, she went upstairs and crawled into the smallest bed and fell asleep. But when she awoke an hour later and opened her eyes, three bears stood at the foot of the bed, staring at her. Goldie sat upright, scared and confused. What to do? Then the papa bear spoke. For whatever reason you have entered our lair, there is only one option when little girls meet three bears. And we've had a long walk and for sure we are hungry. Perhaps you could follow us now downstairs. Goldie got down from the bed and began to follow the bears. But at the top of the stairs, she had an idea. She turned right around and bolted back to the room. The smallest bear chased her and there wasn't much time. But fortunately, bears don't have any glass or screen in their windows, just shutters that swing out to open. Goldie jumped onto the bed and sprung through the window. She burst through the shutters and hit the ground with a tumble. She sprinted away into the woods while the bears watched with a smile. Then Mother Bear spoke and said, She really thought we were going to eat her. No one's ever left in such haste. If I could see her again, I would just want to tell her. I love what you did with the place.